Dang. Look at it now. Look at it now. Who wants to say anything? And it goes across state lines. So don't tell me it's like some kind of Idaho thing when it's going over into Washington and over into Oregon, here and here, on the edge. Look at that. The caldera has also got some on the ring of the caldera. There we go. 651 Kelvin. Look at this cluster. Unknown temperatures. Hold on. Let's zoom in and get a get one that's known. Dang, look how many there are. There's just hundreds and hundreds of them. 572. So again, now look over to the east. Check it out. Yellowstone's got some, guys. Around the outside edge of Yellowstone National Park and inside Yellowstone. Look, multiple fire detection centroids at the Tetons. The north tip of the Tetons. We have 410K temperatures, instantaneous fire size, 284,000 square meters. Huge, huge detections of heat. Huge. That's huge, in case you don't know. We also have hotspot signatures detected in Chalice. We also have hotspot signatures detected on the edge of the Craton going up into. That's where all these little red dots are. Let's go down to the east southeast. We go down through Colorado. We do have more hotspot signatures detected. Going down here to the south, west of Denver. Also, southern Colorado. Let's get these 553 Kelvin temperatures. So there is a line of hotspots going down to the south on the edge of the Craton. The only thing missing is New Mexico, because look. There's hotspot signatures detected down in Chihuahua, Mexico, right across the Texas border, and in southwest Texas right here. Hotspot signatures now detected over to the east going across all of Texas, equal distantly spaced. These are all in the past few minutes. 7,000 square feet, square meters on this one. This all just showed up, guys. These all just refreshed. October 5th, 2020, going into October 6th. 1710 UTC. Dang. Look at it now. Look at it now. Who wants to say anything other than we've got something very serious going on on the edge of the Craton? Going all the way across the southern edge. Oh, wait. Do we have some on the east coast, too? We've got some refreshed up on the east coast. Look up to the east. Look at this. Following the edge of the Craton along the outside edge. Going up into Chesapeake Bay. And going up into the New York, Southeast Quebec, Maine, New Brunswick border region. Southeast Quebec mainly. This is a perfect match. Look at that. Hold on. Let me turn off all the other place marks except for the fire detection centroids. This will make a big difference. Wow. I have never seen anything like this. I, no one has. No one has. For crying out loud, guys. Let's zoom in. There. Look at that. So, coming down out of the Northwest, going down through Colorado, the only place we don't have anything is in New Mexico, but over at the volcano at the Arizona border, we've got something going on. There's a volcano down there at the Geronimo Volcanic Field. And then equal distantly spaced across all of Texas, going up and focusing on the New Madrid Seismic Zone. Then going around the outside edge of the Craton, up to the East Coast. It's a match to the Craton. I got to say this right now. Get it out to the world. I don't know what this means. I'm not going to issue a forecast on it. I could tell you a bunch of heat signatures being released on the edge of the Craton all in a day's time. Matching perfectly from Idaho down through Colorado, going across Yellowstone, going down across southern Colorado, going into western Texas, making a bend over through Texas, back up through Oklahoma, Kansas, going over into Missouri. Look how many are being detected now. Now they're throwing them on across the whole plate. This is crazy. This is crazy. I got to save this right now before anything else happens. I love you, baby. I love you. <laughs> uh, what's going on? 
something. Just do something. Do something. Do something. Run. Oh. Run. 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 Run.